Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, check it in, and you're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned on right now, get friend looks going to turn on, talkin' that talk, but it ain't about much, hatin' hey, no nuts cause the sweat turned on. This week on Fitted Fiend, we have a lids pickup, this is a minor league fitted, this is from the Copa de la Diversion Collection, hopefully I didn't butcher that, um, this was the only one out of all the teams that I was a fan of. Me personally, I'm really not into all the bright, flashy colors. They just don't look right on my skin tone. So when I saw this one, it was a must cop. Um, it had has a little bit of history behind it for the reason why I got it. With no further ado, let's get into this. All right, I ordered this on lids.com. I had it shipped to store. This is the first ship to store that I've done since the Fanatics takeover that they actually didn't charge to send it to the store. So that's why I sent it there because a couple orders I've done online, I tried to ship to store and it's the same fee to ship to store that it was to ship to my house. I'm like, why would I do that? So for some reason, this one, they didn't charge to ship to store, which is kind of odd, but they also didn't call me when it came in either. I had to show up and, uh, and tell them that I checked the tracking number and it showed it was delivered. So, and sure enough, they had it behind the counter. So, let's see. Do not have a receipt. They did throw in this uh, Fanatics 20% off uh, coupon code. All right. I did pick up the hat that's going to be worn by the Fresno Grizzlies, which is the AAA affiliate of the Washington Nationals. I picked up the Fresno Lowriders. I love the colorway. Um, I'm a big fan of purple. Uh, those who don't know me personally, those that do know me from a long time ago, I was the king of the Lowriders in my area in, in North Georgia. And my very first Lowrider was about this color purple. And uh, my dream lowrider to always have was a 64 Impala. And I saw this, you know, this, this could represent a 63 or 64 Impala. Hopefully one day I'll get one. Uh, I had a lowrider club from 1992 to 1999 called Dangerous Trends. And later when I got into the music industry, I dropped the S off Dangerous Trends and named that my record label. So my record label is called Dangerous Trend without the S. Then... Uh, Later down the road in 2009, I started my own clothing line, Trends Unlimited, which that's also the same name as this channel. And I put a spin on the way that it was spelt and made it kind of like how Mercedes Benz is like, you know, ENZ. So I made the clothing line TRENZ, then Unlimited. But um, the reason why I got this was for the lowrider history because I, I was a part of that community for a long time. I never had. Uh, a car like this or anything my low rider club was primarily mini trucks and and full-size big body trucks lowered but i always wanted a 64 impala so you know like i said a little while ago hopefully one day that'll come true all right so this reminds me of the color blocking of the montreal expos um as the purple on the back of the dome the white two front panels black button on top black bill it's got the 64 or 63, I don't know which one it is, can't really tell from the image. Uh, Impala hitting three-wheel motion. It's got the new era flag done in metallic gold on the side. The MILB logo on the back is done in metallic gold, black and purple. Very, very nice. Got a black underbill, black sweatband, 758s, new era, the MILB tagging there so big fan of this I picked up some blank tees I picked up a purple uh, shirt to go with this I think it would look really good wearing a gold chain with it uh, so very happy with this I'll leave the link down below for this if you want to pick it up they I think only were out, out of maybe two sizes of this one but uh, I also have another hat I wanted to share that I picked up um, on 5950 day for those that missed the video I'll put it on the end screen lids sponsored a video for me once again lids thank you so much so I got a hat to remember that day I had a hat customized 
I just got the basic black Atlanta Braves hat um, with a white A. Yeah, it's nothing special. Uh, it's just very basic white New Era flag logo on the side, MLB logo, white and black. But I got it to represent the 5950 day. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but it has the date 5919, which the 59 is because of the 5950. Then it says 5950, the day there. I don't know how clear it's picking up on the camera. So I normally don't leave the gold foil stickers on these hats when I personally wear them, but I got this more as a memory um, since I did get to take part in LID celebrating the 5950 day with them having me out and also sponsoring the video. So this is very special to me. Uh, to this day, it's my biggest sponsorship that I've got so far. But uh, I was very thankful that they reached out to me for that. So I'm just going to keep this as just, you know, I guess a trophy piece, you can say. You know, I do not plan on wearing it. I just wanted it for the memory purpose. So it's happy to add that. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers out there. We have broke 1,800 subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for the love and support. Um, been thinking about doing some live videos. Comment down below if you would like to see me do some like live chats where we can do like Q and A's, you know, in the live chat, and you can ask questions. And I'll answer back live. Let me know if that's something you would like to see. Uh, your feedback is important, so I know if if that's something you would like to see in the future. Uh, please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends and limited merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don sign out. Peace. Jeans.